Louise. Welcome to American Reads Fun Learning Activities. Did you know that activities focus on different topics such as science, history, health, and even arts? But today we're going to learn about physical education by doing the tic-tac-toe and also the tin can activity. So today we're going to learn about three vocabulary terms in this video. So let's talk about the first word. Techniques. Well, techniques is the basic patterns of movement which have to be developed in every activity. So when you're trying to have different techniques, it really means different ways in order to achieve an objective. Like when you're playing soccer, there's different techniques like having different skills, dribbling the ball, and trying to score a goal. So, skills. Skills is a, a capacity to perform a specific task that involves the nerves and also with the brain. So for example, everyone has different skills in order to achieve something like jumping, running, um, throwing, like there are different skills in every sport and everything uh, from skills like jumping can go with any sport and everyone has different skills in order to achieve the sport or activity that they have. So third and last term, participation, which is taking part in physical activity. Now participation is really important, especially when you're playing sports and activities because Everyone is involved, everyone's having fun, everyone is like your family, your friends, and anyone that you're playing with, everyone has participated and had a good time while playing these PE or even other outdoor, indoor activities. So, now we're going to go to Mary and that's going to show you two different ways in order to have different activities and be uh, physical, um, especially the tin can and a tic-tac-toe activity. So, we'll go to her on making these amazing activities. Hey guys, it's Marianne, and today we're going to be working on a little activity, sort of a part one and part two activity, and it's just going to be a way for us just to enjoy ourselves. What we're going to be making is a big tic-tac-toe on the floor, and also like a tin can activity all in one. And you're gonna see how it's gonna work by just following along. Now we're gonna go over our materials. What we're gonna need is some thick tape, mostly colored, some scissors, markers, a pencil, and paper plates. Make sure the back part feels like paper so you can draw and color on it. First up, we're gonna bring out our paper plate and with our pencil we are going to trace an X on the back of this paper don't go too dark so that um, you don't see the pencil you could only see the color on my end that looks a little bit light but I'm gonna darken it up just a bit for you guys so you guys could see where the X is placed on this paper. But meanwhile, I started tracing that X onto the paper, I mean paper plate. Did you know that the first time they think tic-tac-toe ex like started off or was played by people was in ancient Egypt. So, it's written in books that they used to play tic-tac-toe for fun. Oh well, now that I finished up placing my X onto the paper plate, I'm gonna bring out my markers and I'm just gonna choose a marker to color my beautiful X. I do suggest choosing one color for all the X's and one color for all the circles. I mean, yeah, circles or O's. So that you don't get confused. If you guys want to go wild on the design, I'm just going to place it all green. I like the color green. So I'm just going to make my X all green. You guys could do stripes, you guys could do hearts. But on my case, I'm just going to do all solid. But for sure, just stick to one color. So when you are playing, you're not messing up. Or it just feels more nice when it's all solid color but for sure go wild on the designs also 
another known fact is that the Romans also played tic-tac-toe, which is it all started from century BC, and they played with like little rocks, and that was their like X's and O's. So that's how they got to play tic-tac-toe. Compared to us, we have a nice X and a nice O for that. But some people really thought that tic-tac-toe was just like magic. Because as you know, the grid for the tic-tac-toe where you place your tiles. Oh wait, hold on. I'm already done with one and we'll go on for the fun facts later. But I am pretty much made uh, six X's and now I'm going to go with the O's so that we can have enough pieces. So when you play tic tac toe, you don't need more than six. If you guys want to do more than that, it's fine. But for sure, all you need is six. Now I'm going to be tracing the O on the next paper plate. I'm just going around and using that as my good, nice circle. And I don't know if you guys could see, uh, see but inside there's another like trade circle on my plate. So I'm just gonna be using that to just make my nice circle on pink. I feel like pink will like bring it out a lot. So I feel like if you're using pink, it'll just bring out that color with the greens a little more darker. So like I said before, be creative on the design. In this case, the color, just stick with one color. But like I was saying before, people thought when they played tic-tac-toe, it was like some magical thing. Again, for the grid aspect, and they thought like, oh, there's nine spots, it must be magical. But now that I'm finished with my, oh, I did a couple more O's, again, six of them, and now that I have my X's and O's, I'm going to go on with the next activity. So I'm just going to push all this aside, the markers, the pencils, we're not going to see those in a bit, but the next activity we're going to be doing is based on... 10 cups you guys could decorate them i am not going to be decorating all my 10 cups but you're going to need a piece of paper you place the cups aside you're going to do with the paper it's going to crumble it up nice and tight make a nice small ball with that paper put some strength into it some so you guys could create a nice little ball now that you guys have your little ball you bring back the markers because they were just running away now you bring them back and we're going to color this ball so what we're going to do is open a marker and just like tap onto the paper or just like scrape it. It's, you're not going to get every little space, but for sure, we're trying to make this ball colorful. I don't want just a plain white ball. I want a colorful ball. So I'm using yellow, some pink, and we're going to be using this as our ball to knock out our little cans on the side or aka cups. So we're gonna continue on adding more color. I'm gonna add some black now, you know, so it could pop, the other colors could pop. And we're just gonna continue it until you're satisfied with the colors. You can go all crazy with colors, go for it. If you guys wanna even wanna do designs, go for it. I don't know how you would do designs, but I will not stop you from going outside the box. I'm gonna add some red. I feel like that would be enough for my colorful ball so it's not just plain white. You can see the pink and the yellow are popping out so the black is helping it like, oh, I am here, I am present, I am the ball. So you know where your ball is located. we we'll put all this aside. Now that we have our ball and our cups, we're going to be setting up for our activity. Alright, with our tape. Um, the thick colorful tape, I made a pretty much a grid onto it. You guys are not going to see my face just because it's on the floor. So as you can tell, it's on the floor. It's a nice, beautiful grid. As you can see, beautiful. If it goes a little crooked, it's fine. We're going to bring out our paper plates after me showing you that it's a beautiful grid with blue tape. You guys could use green, yellow. You can even use clear tape. Just mine is blue. Now that we have our grid, we're going to bring out our pieces to play tic-tac-toe. So I'm going to bring out the X's, I'm going to bring out the circles, and I'm going to start playing. So I'm going to put an X here, 
and over there. And yes, you can play with family and friends. Right now, I want to play by myself because let's see if I could be my own self. So <laughs> I'm just gonna just show you how pretty much how you play tic tac toe. It's like if you play it on a paper with a pencil and paper. But in my case, it's a big 3D, big tic tac toe. And you can play as many times as you want. You, it's easy to clean up. If you guys want to take off the tape, go for it. If not, it's fine. It's not like it's gonna cause any trouble. It's on the floor, but for sure, you guys can play as many times as you want. Take tac toe. But the purpose of all this is if you win and get three in a row, as one does when we try to play tic tac toe, what we're gonna do is get our cups and our ball we're gonna be placing it a little further away from us so we can knock them down and this is just a fun way just to stay a little more active than we usually are we'll play tic-tac-toe we'll knock out some cans and it's just gonna be so fun so here's my ball i'm just gonna throw it to the cans i'm gonna sit here try to aim and boom i got some cans not a lot but for now, we could just tally up the scores and see who wins. Well, hopefully you guys like it and we'll go on to a reflection, guys. Thanks, Mary, and your activity seemed really fun and I'll probably try it out myself when I go home. But I just wanna talk a little bit about the importance of being physical and doing at least 30 minutes of exercise. For one, it makes you feel better. It makes you feel um, healthier. Two, it actually boosts boost up your confidence, um, especially if you play in a team because you'll feel like you're part of the team and you'll just have fun. Second of all, you can get your family involved and friends and just go outside for 30 minutes, run around, do whatever, stay active. And finally, it's an easy way, like it's really easy to incorporate, um, you know exercise into your life without even realizing it as long as you go outside for 30 minutes um, you did some exercise and now you'll feel healthier and exercise doesn't mean going to the gym and working out lifting weights and stuff exercise can also be by playing games like the game that Marion just showed you how to do or can even be running around playing tag um, doing hopscotch and stuff like that so make sure you go outside and be active for at least 30 minutes and you'll feel healthier, boost up your confidence, and you'll just have fun playing outside. Thank you for learning with us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. If you have any questions, please make sure to comment, like, um, subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell notification so you get notified every time we make a new video. And we'll see you soon. Bye!